Evidence of violence around the world makes one wonder if there is any solution to it at all. However, as simplistic as it may sound, all it involves is a change of thought, but a profound one. At its heart, violence means a failure to show proper respect for something or someone. Respect requires more than tolerance. It requires acceptance of the spiritual integrity of others. That's why prayer is essential. Prayer changes our perspective, moving it from a preoccupation with the surface sense of things to an appreciation of the deeper needs. Prayer brings our thinking to a higher realization where real innovation and resolution reside. It is a unity with our source, where divine intelligence reigns. Centuries of human effort have not resolved violence. Prayer, or spiritual perspective, can lead the way. The world must grow to the spiritual understanding of prayer. Prayer cannot change the unalterable truth, nor can prayer alone give us an understanding of truth. But prayer, coupled with a fervent, habitual desire to know and to do the will of God, will bring us into all truth. Such a desire has little need of audible expression. It is best expressed in thought and in life. Mary Baker Eddy Eventually, we'll all face situations in our lives where there are simply no good human solutions. What would you do if that happens? Individuals around the world have resolved such dilemmas by learning to think outside the box, by moving to an entirely different basis of reasoning, a spiritual perspective. That perspective involves a clear understanding of the divine nature, of spirit, God, and its basis of operation. Each of us has that capacity inherent within us. It is often awakened by need, but it can be accessed through insight. Knowing God as ever-present spirit means we're never outside of God's presence in our lives. Knowing God as unconditional love means that we always have recourse to God, no matter how far we think we've strayed. Knowing God as infinite mind means we're never limited by human reason or capacity to find an answer. What would you do if you ever met a situation where there are no known solutions can actually be the beginning of an entirely new approach to living?